Hello everybody, this is Jeffrey G297 and welcome to the episode. In this episode, I'm going to be using Behind the Beat at Tokyo Expressway using the Angel Swap uh, in this car. So in this video, I will explain to you guys, show you guys how to get the car. Uh, I'll be also showcasing about the Angel Swap, how all that works together. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be a pretty quick episode using this car. So hopefully this build will help you out at Tokyo, if not, then I really recommend saving this build at Le Mans because it's just insanely crazy. So, without no further ado, let's get straight into the episode. So, for a limited time right now, you can find the Honda Beat at the used car dealership here, just right here. About 63 horsepower, 44 pounds of torque, and 1675 pounds is the weight of the car with the price of 16,800 credits. As you guys can look, it is a K car. And those cars are very small, very tiny cars. Uh, so if you see those K car races, this is what it's talking about. And pretty much this car plus the Jiminy, uh, those are probably the two best K cars, if you're wondering, in my opinion. But this car, when it gets a swap, it brings it to a whole different new level. So just mainly do any race that has 20,000 credits and just like that, you're good to go. I mean, it's pretty simple, pretty easy right there. So after you do that, we're going to do next is go to GT Auto. And we're going to go ahead and select the wide body. Go ahead and get that step done first. After you get the wide body equipped with the car, the next step we're going to take is, of course, the engine swap. Now, if you guys are level 50, which I am as you see that hot pink number on top of the screen where that red arrow is pointing at, uh, you can actually buy this swap for 127,500 credits, which is the Honda Civic 2020 engine base model. Now, there is an alternative route uh, to basically get this engine swap if you're not level 50 just yet. So let's say you're level 40, 42, 45, whatever the case may be, there's an alternative way of getting this swap. And let me go ahead and show you guys how it works. So whenever you have the engine mini games, uh, if you do win engines, they'll be stored right at your tuning parts. So we actually do have the right engine. As you guys can see, the highlight bar is a different color. And we have the work compatible right on the top right screen. Uh, now, the stage that you gotta do is press X, say install, and it'll ask you undo this or not, say yes, and just like that, you have a free engine swap um, at your disposal. And the way you know is if you have that little white engine icon beside the engine on the pallet, uh, and you're good to go if you have that particular engine base in your tuning shops. That way you can use it for a free pasture and you save some credits. So a win-win scenario. So here's the step for the car. As you can see, we have our new engine model to the top le left of the corner of our sheet. Uh, the main thing is we're going to start to race on racing intermediates. And then once we get done with our first stage of pitting, uh, we then are going to go ahead and switch to racing hards. Uh, so this is going to be a two, maybe three pit stop strategy with this particular car. But trust me, it'll be well worth it. Uh, suspension, make sure it's fully customized. And make sure you also go ahead and copy the list of the suspension. It's going to help you out a lot in this race. Differential, I recommend having the torque and acceleration to five. And the braking at 50. If you want to push 60, you can. Uh, for downforce, it's pretty easy. Uh, you're going to have both the front and the rears of the downforce all the way maxed out at the highest number it possibly can go. Uh, for the ECU, make sure you have the full controller computer chip on the car. Having that at 100 for the output adjustment. Racing transmission, uh, make sure you have it at 400. As we move to the other part of the list, uh, we have the high RPM turbocharger. And of course, the anti-lag system. You want to set that to strong. Racing intercooler. Your exhaust and intake categories. Make sure all that's set to racing. Uh, for the brakes, the same thing. Racing brake pads and brake system as well. Uh, brake controller, I recommend having it set at negative 2. That way you have some brake pressure on the front of the car. Uh, steering angle kit adapter. Make sure you have that on the car as well. Racing clutch and flywheel. And after that, whatever you see for the engine tuning and for the bike work is what you'll need as well for the car. Uh, now we'll go ahead and point out that the high lift camshaft S and titanium connecting rods and pistons are level 50 parts. So unless you're level 50, you can buy, just buy them at uh, the tuning shop. If you don't have them, that's okay. This, this setup will still work. The car may not be as fast without these two parts. Might be maybe a second and a half slower or two seconds slower. Uh, without these parts and again it might not be as slow uh, but if you don't have those two parts then don't sweat it um, I'll just make sure and just get all the parts I possibly get in this car 
So with that easy setup, let us now go ahead and see what this car can do. And you can just see right off the bat, this car takes off like a rocket. Uh, crossing the finish line 12th place and then once we head out of the tunnel, we'll be closing in to the top 5. Like literally, no time, less than about 20 seconds that we're already being in the top 2 spots. Um, as we approach that first break point, we're going to easily blow by past the leader and take the lead in this race. Um, so this is a very strong fast build. Now one thing to, t to point out is look at the inter tires. The rears are easily being degrading very easily. So we'll have to actually pit on lap number two in order for us to get done with our first phase which is basically wait for the track to dry up some and you see it already is turned red so we're going to come to pit road and get ourselves a fresh set of hearts. This is going to be our first out of two pit stops in this race. And what I'm going to do is just to make my life a bit easier, we're not, not going to go ahead and add top, get tires, but we're also going to go ahead and add some fuel. That way that'll help us out when we get our second pit stop. Uh, not to wait as long we do fill up. So let us now go into super turbo mode and see how quick we can go through this field real quick. So here we are with the charge right now. And you can see this car is quick. Now we got this on going double speed. Um, but you can just see the top speed is pretty quick. But look at the grip on the car. The grip is really good around these corners. Um, once the track does begin to dry off, we actually can throw the car a little bit further into these corners. Um, but you can see right there just catching that rear mirror pretty quickly. We're also catching the GTR very quickly as well. We actually go a little bit off the track, just a little bit, make some contact. But uh, we still are in a good charge. Uh, making our way back through the field easily passing p2 and then we got our leader in our sights now and as you see once we get to the main finish start finish line uh we'll easily we'll retake the lead just like if we didn't have it really pitted at all so we get really close behind the rip bumper of the leader but as you can see once we get close to that tunnel uh we then will get a lot of momentum and get the lead right there so here we are at lap 7, this is going to be our second and last pit stop of the race. You can see the rear tires again are diminished. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing here, get us more fuel and get ourselves a new fresh set of racing hearts. So we're simply going to do like we did on lap number 2 and get ourselves a new fresh set of racing hearts and just fill up the fuel just a little bit past the little diamond icon on the fuel bar because there's no need to really refill all the way up, uh, otherwise you'll be wasting time, plus you'll be adding fuel pounds weight to the car which you don't really want to do so we're going to stop right at close to 65 percent 64 65 and that's going to be it for our racing pit strategy so we're going to fast forward now to what will be a lap 11 this is going to be a hot lap through Tokyo Expressway as we put uh, the third place driver a lap down so I'm going to let you guys watch this clip real quick just see what to expect from this car and I'll see you guys when we get back to the finish line
So we did a 156.325, which is pretty quick around this racetrack, especially with this car. So as we get this race done, it's going to be a new personal best for me. It's going to be a 24.42 uh, for this race. So we went ahead and just basically dominated the whole entire race. We took the lead on the first lap, didn't look back. Uh, as you can see here, we put the whole entire race field lap down. Um, this is a pretty much a very dominant performance. Uh, so what I said earlier a week ago with the R9 with the R93 being the best car in the used car dealership. This, however, does is the best car in the used car dealership. However, the car can be loose, but the handling I have for this car, the car actually felt a little bit more stable. So yeah, hopefully this will help out a lot. So as you guys can see we got the clearance bonus, which is always great. And that's going to be it uh, for this nice, small, short video um, at Tokyo Expressway using the Honda Beats. So I really recommend you guys go ahead and get in this car. Try it out for your own self. I hopefully hope you do have the engine swap for this car, um, either in your garage or you can buy it uh, because it is one mean machine. Oh, that's all I can say. Now, if for some reason this car doesn't work out for you well at Tokyo Expressway, then I really recommend doing it a little more. Other than that, um, hopefully you guys have a great rest of the day or night. Hopefully you guys, in fact, enjoy the episode. If you'd like to see the last episode I did covering the FRMA 4C, you can click on the field right there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, in fact, enjoy the episode, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see some more of my content in the future. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of the day or night, wherever it might be. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.